Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Corinne. If you're not new, thanks for stopping by for yet another video. Today, I am so excited to be filming this video. Um, as you could probably tell from the title, I am going to be showing you how I apply my self tanner and not just any self tanner, my loving tan self tanner. Thank you so much loving tan for working with me on this video. Literally a dream come true. You guys, I've been using loving tan since high school. So I am so excited to be working with them. Um, I'm going to be talking about some of the products and obviously showing you how I apply them. But if you want to use my code, Corinne H will get you a free tanning mitt with any purchase of a gradual tanner or a mousse, which is amazing because you cannot apply the tan without the mitt. The mitt makes the tan. It is so good. Those two combined are like amazing together it makes your tan go on so streak free soft it like literally is like a butter applying to your skin it's amazing you need the mitt so make sure to use my code corinne h it'll also be linked down below with the links and everything to all the products um, and to the website so make sure to check that out okay so if you guys are subscribers of mine you know that i live and breathe by self tanner I am so pale naturally like it's not even funny how pale I am this stuff is, it is so buildable so good um, so I do talk about that when I'm applying it like how I do a lot more layers or I tan more often when it's just dance but um, in color wise what I use because if you guys don't know I'm an NFL cheerleader so I do tend to work with a darker self tanner and then just for daily use I'll just use like a medium or something so without further ado let's talk about loving tans just tanning mousse as you can see I've been using it and this is the deluxe bronzing mousse um, with the ultra dark shade so if you guys have never used this product it gives you such a nice olive natural tan and it the reason for that is because it contains both DHA and erythralose so a lot of brands just have DHA and they don't have that other natural ingredient which is why when you have a lower grade of DHA it ends up kind of building up and making more of an orange tone which is not what you want so this product also has such a great color guide which is amazing if you guys have ever worked with a clear tanning product the next morning your tan probably doesn't look as good reason being you want to be able to see that color and you want to see where you're applying it because it'll end up being streaky if it's a clear product it's just inevitable so i love the color guide you can also just like put it on and you can just feel good right away you can see it you can make sure you're not streaky it's amazing. The color also lasts up to 10 days and I completely stand by that because I do keep moisturizing, which is very important after the shower. I will always moisturize, but if you keep up with the tan, you are going to have a tan for 10 days, which is insane. So amazing. That's a great amount of time and you can, it's so much easier if you're not trying to plan out your tan, if it's going to last that long. It's wonderful. The other thing I love about the tan is it does dry super quick so you can go to bed feels great you don't you don't feel all sticky and then once it does dry and you rinse off you're going to be the next morning I do I do overnight um it's obviously recommended like six to eight hours but personally I like to just let it sit overnight and you rinse off and you're just a beautiful bronzed color it's amazing it's waterproof once it rinses off and it has such a light floral scent like it doesn't have that nasty self tanner it's amazing um I also love this product um, it's the bronze shimmer cream this is amazing as well because if you feel like you might want an extra little shimmer an extra bronze boost you can add this to your legs and your arms and it just adds such a nice natural glow and just that extra color boost that you may want especially in the summer if you're going to be in like shorts dresses all of that stuff it's absolutely amazing i'm just going to talk about a few of the other products so you have the tinted self tanning cream for the face it just creates such a beautiful glow on the face i'll be showing you guys how i use that and when i use it in my tanning process it just i love the look i hate when i have a white face and a tan body and i have to be wearing foundation in order to be in 
like to be looking normal. This is amazing. I love this product and I would highly recommend trying this out. And then if you do want to try the Deluxe Gradual Tan, this is a good one if you don't want to start out with just mousse, if you're a little afraid because of the dark, dark color. This is amazing because you can build the tan. So you can apply it night after night. It's super easy. You could just get out of the shower, apply it like your normal daily moisturizer, and that tan is going to build over the amount of days. Every time you put more on, it's going to get even darker and this is another product that I love and I also recommend you don't have to sleep in it but I recommend sleeping in it I don't know and then also it is recommended that you rinse off the tan before you go out and do your daily things that you had to do but this morning I hadn't rinsed yet and I ran out and grabbed some Starbucks I did my things once I wake up in the morning I just feel fine and I don't feel like I have to rinse right away. It isn't totally recommended, but is one of those things that this tanner, it doesn't smell bad to where I feel like I can wear it out. So if it's a sweaty hot day, rinse. But if you can just go grab a coffee or something, I think you can do it. I do it all the time. Um, so it's a great product. I also get questions all the time, especially I am an NFL cheerleader and people are always asking me where I get my spray tans. And that is how great this product looks that people are thinking I go and get airbrush spray tans. I do not. I do it myself with this product and I look like I got an airbrush spray tan. It's just such an amazing product. And Literally, I'm wearing this on national television, dancing at a football game in front of 60,000 fans, and I feel confident in my skin and in my tan, and that's when you know it's a good product. Really quick, I do want to show you guys the applicator mitt. Um, comes in this fun little package, and I already used one of them last night, but I want to show you guys a clean one. It's so good. It is this beautiful like black velvet squishy material it's amazing i love this you have to have this to put on your tan and the tan remover this is what i use the night i am going to tan i remove this to, or i use this to remove my tan and then it's literally just polishes your skin for the next tan so here's what it looks like it is black on one side pink on the other it is so good it takes off your tan so easily um obviously not trying to take off your tan the next day but after about 10 7 to 10 days when i'm feeling like let's put on another round of tan i use this scrub it off it just feels so good it makes your skin just so prepped and ready for the next time that you tan if you guys are wondering it is actually friday two days before my home opener for the Cincinnati Bengals and I tanned for this. So I'm not lying to you. It is September 9th. Our game is September 11th and I am, I'm so trusting and I love this product so much that I am using this to tan for our home opener that is sold out. So just telling you guys that it is literally like I can, I am not lying to you that it is two days before my football game. So, I am tanned, I am prepped, and I am ready for the football game. So, catch me on TV looking all bronze and goddessy um, on Sunday. So, I'm super excited. We play the Steelers, and it's our home opener. So, it's going to be so fun. And let's just get into me showing you how I do it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I went from this to this with loving tan. So, let's get into my tanning routine. All right, you guys, I am so sorry for the not so great lighting. It is actually 11.30 on the dot. Um, I just got home from practice and it is a Thursday night, so it was our last practice for the game Sunday. So obviously you guys are gonna be prepping with me for the game, my, with self tanner, I guess. Um, so you guys are gonna be tanning with me. Um, I've literally probably already mentioned this, but I have had my fair share of tanning in my lifetime. I've literally been tanning since I was in like the sixth grade and it's also really dark out. So I'm literally in my bathroom because it's only like real lighting and yeah. Okay. So we're going to be using my favorite cell tanner ever, which is the loving tan deluxe bronzing mousse. Um, this is ultra dark. 
get whatever shade you want as you can see I am probably one of the most fair people on planet earth I'm hands down the most fair on my entire team of 30 women um, but I still do ultra dark because of my like profession my part-time profession which is NFL cheerleading and with my uniform so if you are just doing it for a daily basis get medium get whatever you want and then we're going to use the deluxe face in dark let's get cracking so I always put my hair up first I'm literally just gonna be talking you guys through this because I have such a tanning regimen it's not even funny but I have never once tanned in a bikini before so this is gonna be really interesting obviously there's gonna be parts where I have to like do it myself but we got the hair up okay so we're start I always start with legs so um that's what I'm gonna do but I make sure this is like my main thing that I do is if I'm going to be tanning, if I want the best tan in the entire world and I do not want like partial tan from times before, whatever, I always, always make sure to scrub at least two to three nights before I'm actually tanning. So I use the Loving Tan Scrub Mitt that I actually got, um, but I love it so much. I just leave it in my shower and I scrub one night and then you know you get out of the shower and you realize you miss some spots and then you can like get them in your next few showers i also make sure to tan or to shave that same day so i shave that day which is like three days prior and then i shave earlier the day of the tan so i shaved um before my legs is what i'm talking about i shaved my legs before i went to practice which was around 4 30 today and now it's 11.30, so my legs are doing good. And then I, after practice today, just got in, showered because I was really sweaty, used my loofah, and I didn't have any more scrubbing to do or any shaving. I don't like to shave right before I tan. Like, I like to have hours in between so that my pores aren't super open. Um, I also like, I showered probably about an hour ago, so my pores can close up and the tan doesn't go in my leg. Pores, that is just something that I do not something you have to do but it's just a little tip lotion i always 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 moisturize so this is the one that i've been using recently and i absolutely love it it's the jergens oil infused hydrating coconut you can literally get it anywhere and i pump this onto my elbows my kneecaps my heels my ankle bones and my toes and my hands so i do all of it and that is like huge so I make sure to do this because I hate when your elbows and your kneecaps and everything just looks super dirty because of the amount of tan that you have caked in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that really quick. I hate that I'm about to do this, but you guys are gonna see my legs up close and personal in my bathroom. But the first thing I do is I make sure to take this and do about two to three pumps on my mitt that I get and rub it in to my legs super simple i don't really have any tips for my legs except for the fact that i make sure to get in between all of my toes on top of my feet and then i use the extra excess or like the remnants on the mitt for my knees so i don't put a ton on my knees so they don't look dirty legs are done literally so much better we're gonna go in and do our stomach so same thing with stomach just some pumps and we're gonna put it on and it's gonna make a big difference on my pale little tummy okay before I do my chest I always always tan my face first so we're gonna put this on, gosh, and I'm gonna squeeze it on there and then rub it on. It's brown, but it literally like, when you put it on your face, it's like, 
clear. Like literally, it's so funny. Like it's literally clear. But it, it obviously ends up going on really well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and then to my chest. So I'm actually gonna pull my straps down and hope that that works. So let me do that really quick for now. So it's the same thing here, just blending it out all over my arms and chest. I don't have anybody to do my back, but I'm just gonna try my hardest and get as close to my back as I can and as far down as I can on my back. Trevor is not here, so. We're gonna try our hardest. And then I try not to put as much on my elbows as well, of course. But it looks good, and then when you blend the neck, it ends up blending really well into the tan. Okay, this is the most crucial step. I put a shirt on because I didn't wanna put that bathing suit back on. Well, then, now that I'm done with my tan, as you can see, we're looking great and I'm excited. So you have to have a makeup brush, big thing, your lotion, and then your mousse. So you do one pump of lotion, like half a pump, but a decent amount of lotion, and then like a small pump of tanner because you can always add more the next day. Then I just pack it or kind of smooth it out, and then we just blend it. The reason I do less mousse is because one, you can always add some as days goes on, days go on, sorry. Two, people always know if you have a fake tan by your hands and we just don't want that. So I always give it that airbrushed look going in between the fingers. You don't want the webbed fingers look, blending down the wrist and then wrinkling up the fingers. When you're done with the hand, make sure to um, wipe off your nails if you have your nails done but super simple okay you guys hands are done they're looking so good tan is done i'm feeling good i'm looking tan one last thing i want to show you guys is my sleep sack and i swear by it so if you don't like to get your sheets all tanned because i have white sheets um i have this sleep sack by the tan fam so this is embroidered your pillow slips into the top and then you literally slip into these two silk um, things it's like a little sleeping bag and you're in there and your sheets are covered and you're comfy and you're cool and it's perfect you're like not too hot you're not cold you can put your own sheets on top I actually just do the two silk especially with it being so hot outside um, I still do like a little pajama set but I feel good, I look good, and we're gonna check back in with you guys in the morning, and then of course, after I rinse off. Is the next morning, this is pre-rinse. I am gonna go ahead and rinse. I don't know if you guys can see like my chest and everything, my face. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower, I literally rinse so easily. It'll be really quick, and then I'll show you guys the final product. All right, I just rinsed, so I thought I would show you guys in this bikini how just like nice, there's just like a nice color. This is one coat, so you can always build on top of this, but this is so good if you're just going out needing just a little bit of color for daily wear. I feel like it's amazing. I love it. I always add second coat for game day, but that's just because that is something out of the ordinary and I like to be tan. The makeup, the lighting, the cameras, all that washes us out, so I personally add more, but this is so good compared to what I start with. It's just so natural and so pretty, so I love it so so much okay it looks even better coming in this direction but thank you guys so so much for watching make sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more from me um i'm 
filming a vlog actually right now during um, game week so if you want to see that vlog obviously make sure to subscribe make sure to keep checking out my videos ring or click that bell so you get bell notifications and again all the products and everything will be linked down below and use my code Corinne H for a free self tanning mitt with any purchase of a gradual self tanning lotion or mousse and I thought I would just show you my hands like they look great just saying and thank you again, Loving Tan, for sponsoring today's video. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.